I got a total of six boxes here to open up. They're from, I think, four different websites maybe in total. And I've got some cool stuff here. I've got some autograph Funko Pops. I've got some very exclusive, sold out, desired, grail Funko Pops. And then a couple more I'm drawing a blank on. But let's crack these open and find out. Let's do this. So these two on top are both from the company Dark Parlor Originals. They used to be known as That Wrestling Club, but now they uh, exclusively sell, as of right now, signed Funko Pops. They do autograph signings with wrestlers, and they did one recently with uh, the actor from Child's Play. So that's what those two are. Those are signed Funko Pops. We have, I don't even want to spoil this one. Are these two from the same place? No. These two are from the same are from the same place. It's very desired, sold out Funko Pop. That's going for quite a bit of money on the secondary market. I got this one from GameStop, and I got one from Shumi. Let's do Shumi first. So these two I bought exclusively just to resell these two. Once in, once in a while on the Shumi the Shumi's app on your phone, they will announce that they have a restock of something or if they got some more in, but they sent out an alert on their app a couple weeks ago that they had something like 10 or 15 of these available. They had a limit or what, there might have been a limit. I don't remember now, but I picked up two of them. And ever since since then, the value of this has gone down a little bit, but I plan to actually hold on to these, put these in, into my shop and price them like double of what I played, paid, just let them sit and eventually they will sell once prices rebound or the right person walks in and they just have to have it. That happens. So, there's the receipt. Yeah, these things I paid 25 bucks a piece. And the first one, we've got the Michael Jordan Fanatics Funko Pop. Awesome. I haven't checked prices on these actually since I purchased this or shortly after and these were going for like 50 60 bucks but then they got released on the Fanatics website and a few other spots was able to get some of these and since then um, prices last time I checked they were doing like 30 or 40 so what I'm gonna do people will say you're crazy I'm actually gonna put these into my shop I guess that's the first one and here is the second one Fanatics exclusive. So I'm just going to do is ooh, that sticker on that one's messed up, and that stinks. That sticker on that one's all messed up. Ugh. Let me take it out out of the case. So what I'm going to do with these two, and you'll probably think I'm crazy by doing this, but I'm going to do. Well, I was going to do this one. I can't sell for full price unless if I get a replacement sticker. But what I'm going to do is put these into my shop for 50 bucks a piece. People are gonna say, oh, they're, they're not selling for 50. Not right now, they're not. No, they won't. People will walk by them, see them in my glass cases and say, oh, he's overcharging 50 bucks, but just wait. Prices will go up or the right person will walk by and they'll buy them. But here's the first one. Yeah, the sticker, man. Or maybe it's just the backing has paper on it. That's what happened. So the back of this, of the sticker, has like paper on it from something which isn't allowed it to stick onto the Funko Pop. So if I can get the paper off the back of this thing, then the sticker will lay down okay. I just gotta get that crap off of there. So, but that's okay though. So these two I will be selling for $50. They won't sell right now, but they will sell in the future. That'll be like an easy double up. Next, let's do one of my autographed Funko Pops. I actually purchased these to keep because I collect autographed memorabilia and collectibles. And here's the first one. I'm thinking this one was like around like $50. I think it was like 50 or $55 like shipped out the door. Insanely good price for this pop. 
Let me take a little peek at it before, before I show you. Yep, that's awesome. Here we go. We have Funko Pop, Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, autographed. Then on top of it was a picture showing him doing the autograph signing with Dark Parlor Originals. Yeah, that is cool. So he signed it in a red uh, paint pen, signed it Shawn Michaels and HBK. So yeah, this thing was like $55 shipped or so. Like, that is an insanely good deal. That's an insanely good deal. I think right now they have up an autographed Funko Pop of somebody that, that you, you can buy. So check out their website. But yeah, so far through them, I purchased Ric Flair, Charlotte, F or Ric Flair, Charlotte Flair, spoiler for that one. Purchased Sergeant Slaughter, purchased Shawn Michaels. I think there is a, another one in there. I just can't remember which one it was. Well, since I went ahead and spoiled it, might as well crack it open. Right? So there's the other autograph Funko Pop. This one was only like $45, I think it was. It was really cheap. It's like, I think it's like $45 plus shipping. Good deal. And there we go. Charlotte Flair. It's the newest one. Sign in a purple paint pen. Oh, they got new authentication cards now. Cool, okay. So this has actually an authentication card on top of the pop that you can take out. Showing her signing it with a certification number on it. J812445. Cool. Oh, with the matching sticker right there on the bottom. So you can match it up. Cool. So Charlotte Flair autographed Funko Pop. Like I said, it was like, I think $45 or $50. Like that is, that is a bargain. Bargain. So now what should we do? Let's do, let me say that. Let me say those two for last. The best two for last. This one is from GameStop. I do not know if these are still for sale or not, but I bought these just to buy now and then hold on to them, see what prices do. You know, prices might not go up much, or maybe they already have, I just don't realize it. But what I got here, I've got two of the Thor Glow in the Dark Pop and Funko Pop exclusive. Size, I don't know what size, size 3XL, size 3XL. So I bought baby girl size from each of them. So once I crack these things open, if I crack open one, but if I do, I'll sell the pop and I might keep the t-shirt. We'll find out. But yeah, I got two of them. I'm not sure if these are sold out or not. They probably are, but it is the newest Thor Funko Pop Glow in the Dark GameStop exclusive and a t-shirt. Price point on these things, it doesn't even say on there to see how much I paid. But anyway, yeah, there's those two. Now these last two boxes are going to be the ones that are going to drive people up the wall whenever they see it. Some people might get mad, some people might get jealous, and some people might just be like, how much you selling them for? First one. Highly desired. Just hope they came in mint condition. I've seen a lot of people, theirs did not come mint condition. Oh, I already see some damage on it too. So this one is a small little, oh man, it's got a little bit of damage to it. But we got the HBO Shop exclusive. This was the bundle pack. Not bad though. It has a little ding here on the corner there. And then it does have a little, you probably can see it. But actually, that I might be able to push that out. But I mean, all in all, the box isn't too bad. I've seen some that were just atrocious. But yeah, from the front of it, it looks perfect. It looks beautiful. But yeah, this is the HBO Shop exclusive Night King on Throne Metallic. Came with the lanyard. That's cool. There's your Game of Thrones lanyard. I'll probably keep keep the lanyard and then it came with the t-shirt i don't even know what size t-shirt whatever was available to buy 
size medium. It was like Game of Thrones, showing him on the on the on the throne. And what this thing cost, it doesn't have the price on it. Now we've got a second one. Fingers crossed. This one was from a different bundle. So yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna sell that one for. The first one you saw, it was with a little bit of damage on it. I don't know how much I'm gonna sell it for yet, or if I'm gonna sell it at this time, I might hold on to it, see what prices do. Let me pull out the other thing first. This, this was the pop and hat bundle. This is cheaper of the two. And here's the hat. That's a nice hat, actually. Not bad. So there's the front of the hat with the throne. Back says, for the throne. But not a bad hat, actually. But not bad. Of course, what everybody wants to see, though, is it mint condition. Come on. No damage. No damage. The back of it has no damage on it. No damage. No damage. Okay, so <laughs> is is the front damaged? This one's in good condition. I got one that was good. I said this thing is like nine out of ten condition. Thank goodness. Yeah, that one's good. Happy with that. This has no damage on it. Awesome. So this one is okay. Very happy about that. This was a cool, fun unboxing. A little bit different. Wasn't a mystery box or anything. But I got two things to keep. The two signed Funko Pops are mine to keep. Everything else I'll be reselling. Not everything I will resell right now, though. Some things I will hold on to and resell in the future once values possibly go up higher. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Funko Bad Guy out.